Good morning, ladies and gentlemen. It is a nasty, nasty day here in good old South Mississippi. Uh, pardon my jump, it's right here behind my shop. Um, I am sitting on the kayak. I got a bona fide 120, uh, SS-127. And just give you a little quick update of some things. This uh, paddle holder up here, that thing, it just, it does okay, but I found that the angle of the paddle, I was actually fighting a fish the other day and I knocked it off and it tried to, I almost lost my paddle, which I didn't have a leash on it then. You see I have a leash on it now. Uh, just went to Academy this morning. But I added this Yak Attack thing, whatever it's called, the roller cam and I found that if I do it like that bam I can secure it while I'm fishing so uh, that works pretty good I like it um, update on the trailer I don't know if I've even mentioned this actually <laughs> I picked up a trailer for like 75 bucks which was a killer deal already has a board going it was for a flat it was a tilt that's what that uh, funky looking plate right there is uh, there used to be a pin assembly you pull a pin and the back of the trailer tilted I welded it up actually uh, there still haven't put a coating on it uh, had to put a new tongue on it obviously all of this um, junk here well while I was at the boat launch somebody put me a cup on there for me jack legs uh, so I got to cut this down and minimize it uh, I'm gonna make it uh, the kayak not all the way up like I want it to be due to there's a bolt right here I was scared it was gonna gouge into my kayak I've got to cut all that off but I got it functional the fenders are all bent up probably gonna take them off and replace them at some point I just gotta kind of clean the trailer up I want to prove it I'm eventually gonna probably make it a double decker because you see right there I have a uh, native versa board for my wife uh, which is filthy right now propped up against my shed but anyway I digress but just wanted to give an update I am on my way to get back into some kayak fishing. Hopefully I can uh, get some good video of it. This Bonafide 127, uh, one, of, one of my prouder things is that it's made in the USA. Um, check this out, let me show you. This whole thing here. I can put, um, let me back up. I can open this thing up. It'll open from either way, but I can put my paddle and my rod. I can put everything. I had everything in that compartment that I needed for this. Uh, that's my little bait bucket in there. Oops, sorry. Bait bucket right there. But everything fits in here, and uh, it does a great job. There's like a rubber seal. I'll do a better review on a sunny day one day, but just give me a quick, quick overview. Um, but it's, I don't know this thing is really well made I don't have the greatest paddle in the world um, some of you may remember uh, I lost uh, a ton of stuff in my, my barn fire shop fire um, from before so insurance didn't do me very well so I'm just slowly bringing it back together I've got to get some, uh, oh, it's dark. I've got to get some trailer lights. Put that going. But I towed this thing about 40 miles down to the salt water and uh, just to kind of give it a quick maiden voyage. Get out here. Try and move it. Give you an idea how wide the trailer is. Sits on it really well. 
Uh, it did well in the salt water. I didn't get in the like the surf or anything, but review says it does pretty good. It's an extremely stable kayak. Um, I was able to stand up in it in the still water, which is amazing. I'm a big guy, a lot of top heaviness. <laughs> but um, I'm a camper, a boat, a little trailer. I got a plan for this right there in the future. Um, I don't know. I'm kind of ranting. This video is just kind of random. I was just out here and said, hey, I'm going to fire up the video. But if any of you have uh, looked at like overlanding, things of that nature, I got a camper and um, I get something on my Jeep. I have a camper, so I don't need another camper. But there's times when I think it would be great to. Um, be able to uh, have a rack on that thing, load my kayak up on top of it, maybe put an AC unit in the front, and uh, make like a little mini camper. That way I could run down to Gulf Shores or somewhere like that, or even just uh, those of you local, uh, Davis Bayou, the Gulf State national park <clears throat> just be able to camp out and wake up early early in the morning uh just really hard to do i live like i said i live about 40 minutes from salt water and i have zero knowledge of fresh water so uh i'm hoping to try some of that out too in the near future but i don't know stay tuned on that that right there may become a little small mini camper uh, a little small ac unit maybe a little shower head and a place to sleep. And, uh, I don't know. It's gonna be cool. All right, guys. Uh, just wanted to get a quick update and check in. I'm all snappered out. Uh, I got a uh, got to work next week, and in the week after that, we're going to Houston. I'll probably video some of that. We're gonna be staying on a lake. Well, we're going to, for MD Anderson. We're going to MD Anderson for my daughters. Um, I'll make a video. I'll explain that at, uh, just to catch everybody up to speed, um, just for record keeping, also. But so I got to work next week, and we're going to Houston. So basically, everything from now till till after we get back from Houston is going to be focused toward that. So snapper fishing is done for a little bit. Uh, we are planning to take one more trip. We want to take one more trip. Um, I don't know. I don't know what else is to come uh, when we see what comes of the MD Anderson trip. Then we'll know more. I'll be able to tell you more of what um, is coming after that. But as always, thank you for uh, watching. I've only got like 130, 135 subscribers. I appreciate every one of you. Hey, put down in the description below anything that uh, you'd like to see me do. Uh, if you're interested in this overlanding thing, <sighs> let me know. Uh, I'm in my, I'm in my happy place, my patio. But uh, let me know. Let me know what you think. Let me know what you think I should do with the overlanding trailer. Um, that's actually something. Um, if you watched any of my videos in the past before my shop burned, I had a frame and I was just gonna build. Uh, I was gonna build the whole thing. And that didn't work out. Uh, the uh, the fire actually got the trailer, and uh, when we were cleaning the metal up, I just told the guy to haul it off. Anyway, so I found that trailer for like 400 bucks from my good buddy Greg. Thank you, Greg, if you're watching this. Um, that was a great deal. Uh, all I had to do was put tires and wheels on it, and and uh, it was good to go. So 400 bucks, well worth it. Um, a friend of mine borrowed it recently and went to uh, Illinois. Pull it all the way to Illinois and back. And the only issue it had was uh, the fenders. One of the fenders messed up. I'm gonna rip those off anyway. I'm probably gonna put those on my camper. I mean, on my kayak trailer. But regardless, appreciate you guys. I know I'm rambling. Thanks for watching. Peace out.